Ah, Nox, why do you always have to show me ads? Alright, let's check out Durango. A really awesome game I played in an alpha, like, in 2016. It's It's been a long time coming. I've been looking forward to this. Two thousand years later. So after messing around with the settings for what seemed like ages, I couldn't fix the sound stutter. I noticed some of you also have issues with Nox and sound either lagging or not playing at all. So where do we go from here, I wondered. Well, it seemed pretty obvious after a while. I decided to get a different emulator, Mimu. I was incredibly skeptical at first, but after running Durango with Mimu, I noticed the sound was clear and I didn't have to adjust any settings. It just ran perfectly right from the start. That's pretty much a winner in my book. So without further ado, why don't we go check it out? So first off, it looks it looks pretty clean. It looks very much like uh, Nox, but um, there's a few additions. Like if you look up here, there's tabs for uh, some of the other apps. So you know, if we open up, um, I don't know, let's say uh, the settings, we'll open up settings. And uh, it should appear in the upper left, and there it is, you know, easy to access, easy to swap between them. So that's pretty clean. So over here you see key mapping, which you should recognize from Nox. It has some of the defaults that you're used to, like the movement wheel, and a few other things, like right attack, left attack, or left shoot. And here we have the swipe hotkeys again. Uh, nothing new from the other app, Nox. Um, you know, you can freely change the hockey for them. Uh, it's, you know, the, the same old, same old. If you'd done it there, you'd done it, you know, here. Um, now that's, you know, the movement wheel. Um, pretty standard. A uh, few other options. It also has an, you know, an advanced bar with some uh, different things, pretty cool things, like uh, 3D view, right? Um... It has free look, uh, sensor gravity, whatever those are. <laughs> um, oh, oh, macro options. This I'm very excited for. It comes with oh, just a number of options, like a click, swipe, various inputs that you can set to a uh, hotkey. I'm very excited to get more into that later on. It's <laughs> it's going to be good for certain apps. Um, uh, let's see, there's also a MOBA mode. Yeah, for uh, hotkey mapping, changing things around to work better for mobile apps, it too has an advanced mode. Um, you know, various things, similar things from the other one, but different. Uh, that's, you know, let's look at the, yeah, let's look at the difference between these two movement things. And, ah, it didn't stay. You know, but yeah, let's look at this. Um, right click at target position to move. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So that. You know, that's that. Um, <laughs> now, another feature is you can set different profiles and you can save them to have different key mappings set up. So if you want to switch to a different game and use specific mapping, then, you know, you can set up for that other game. You you can easily, you know, swap without having to reset up everything. Um, so, you know, let's do here. One, two, three. And, uh, yeah, we don't need that one. And, um, let's see over here. It's a, oh. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Remember to click save before switching or exiting because, um, <laughs> it, it won't. Yeah, you got to click save at least at first. And then, here we go. Okay, now, see, see, I can go over here and different, you know, it saved it. It saved everything so I don't have to. You know, I can have it different for this game and have another one for that game. And then, you know, boop, that game, boop, this game, boop, that game, boop, this game, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So now I'm going to go and play some Durango and just let me know what you think of Mimu. And uh, let me know if you have any problems. See you later.